I'm so in love with the game. I have been ever since kicking a ball at the age of five. I'll forever be in love with the game. So we're sitting here today because I am officially retiring from football. So yeah, that's the reason. No tears, yeah. <laughs> no tears. I think that whole New Rose experience, it was a fantastic journey. Obviously getting that gold medal, I can't stop looking at it. I still, it's kind of like I had an out of body experience. I'm like, was I there? Did we win the gold? And I just think nothing for me personally is gonna ever top that moment. I had so many moments just sat there with my medal. Um, but probably the most special moment for us, I think at that time, I did know in my heart that was going to be the last moment, so I grabbed our sports scientist. I grabbed Lotta and I said to our sports scientist, you've made me do so many box-to-box -box runs in this like, tournament, like, come on, run one, run one with us. So me, him and Lotta did a box-to-box -box run. And as I ran it, I knew that was my last one. But I had my gold medal around my neck. We were at Wembley, all the streamers and everything are going off, and I did that last run. And the crowd cheered when we got to the end. And they don't know this, Martin and Lotta, but that was the reason that I did that. So it was such a special moment. And it, I didn't want to cry or anything like that, but that was my, my way. I would have said it out loud to Shelley when I got home. And then I told my mum, my brother and my two sisters. And then the first person I actually went to tell was Mo Marley, because I felt like for all them years, um, all the help, all the guidance she's given us throughout, I felt like, I should um, go and tell her in person. So I felt a lot better when I told her because she just reassured us and I needed that. I didn't really want people to say, oh, you should play on and you should push through because I, I didn't want that. I knew my decision was made. Well, then you know what? I'm going to be the biggest fan of this team. I already am. I'm texting Kira, Hempo, Demi all the time. Good luck with your games. And yeah, I'm going to be the biggest fan. So hopefully they can still get his tickets and a shirt. I'm going to miss the girls so much. Then, obviously training sessions, but then moments after where I'm like, come on, let's go for a coffee, let's have a chat. I'm going to miss them so much. Waking up for breakfast, chatting to the staff, seeing if they had a good day, chatting about your families, just, yeah, just that whole kind of atmosphere and team togetherness. And the friendships I'll take away from this game will be friendships that will last as a lifetime, and I'm so grateful for that. I found out in lockdown, I've read a couple of books and I found out that my purpose isn't literally playing football. I just love to help people. So obviously footballs give us such a big platform to get my happiness from helping people. So if you can stop people, get a picture. If you can go to a grassroots club, give them a signed shirt, just make people happy. So I think I really need to help people and I'm hoping that England, hopefully, will get us involved with younger age groups in some capacity and just just to pass on advice from terms in terms of playing for a lot of years, experiences, things I probably would have done better over the years, things I probably shouldn't have done and just helping them with that. But most of all, um, yeah, just helping people, I think. So I, I don't know what's next, but if anybody wants to give us a job, just drop us a text. <laughs> I think if I could speak to myself when I was little Jill Scott, little skinny Jill Scott, I would say all that hard work will be worth it. Keep following that dream that didn't even exist. Keep trying to ask people for an opportunity. Keep believing in yourself and always believing you could be better. And one day it'll all be worth it because when you stood at Wembley and you've got that gold medal around your neck, all them hard shuttle runs, all them hard conversations, all that fighting just to be allowed to play football, it'll be worth it one day. If I could say something to football, I think just a massive thank you. It's been the biggest part of my life. Um, I'm so in love with the game. I have been ever since kicking a ball at the age of five. I'll forever be in love with the game. I'll be going to as many games as I can now. Thank you to football. Thank you to all them amazing coaches, managers I've worked with, who's really given us the tools to go on and, and win gold and be part of an incredible team. And also just thank you to the girls for allowing us to be me, 
formed the friendships that I have done. And yeah, without football, I wouldn't be where I am today. It's really give us a purpose in life and one that I hope I can carry on contributing to the game.